Mike here with Murray Callum. How are you today, Murray? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty well. So can you tell us what, we, what you do for Ford? Uh, I'm the executive director of design for North America. Oh, so you had specific input on how the brand new Mustangs or Ford lineup is yeah. uh, created? All, all the US-based Fords, yeah. All right, can you tell us why, um, what, what was the inspiration on the brand new 2012 Mustangs? Well, the Mustang obviously has to, first of all, look like a Mustang. We want people to recognize it as a Mustang. But at the same forward, same day time, we want to bring the car forward into the 21st century. Because I can also tell that there's a lot of retro looks from the dials to the headlights, the taillights. It's, Mustang was one of the first cars that they brought back the retro yeah. look which started a in complete innovation on all cars yeah, right, built yeah, from, yeah. I want to say, 2005 on. Yeah, correct. Well, I think, I mean, we talked a lot on Mustang customers, and they know the cars they love in the history of Mustang. And the cars they loved were really the, you know, the 65 to, 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 to 1970, really, were the, the favorites. And we'd, we've gone off in different tangents along the way. In 2005, we really started to say, okay, what's, what's the heritage of Mustang, the look and the heritage of Mustang we need to come back, we need to bring back. And we did that in 2005, and then, we repeated it again in 2010, just updating that design. Yeah, and it keeps getting better and better, and it keeps looking nicer and nicer, I might add. <laughs> All right, um, now on the interior, was there any specific, other than going back with the older dials, because they have more of the retro yeah. look, like I was saying before, um, but like with the redesigned CD, um, was there anything new for 2012? 2012, it was mainly powertrain actually. So 2012, we've introduced the, we re brought back the five liter, which again was a real favorite for the customers. So it's really, it's really uh, powertrain miles per gallon improvements was really, so, so it's really the technical side that we really made the improvements in, on 2012. Yeah, no, that's really great. Cause I know on the six cylinder Mustang for 300 horsepower, you're getting around 30 miles yeah, per gallon, yeah, which is exactly, unspeakable, yeah. especially nowadays. Cause there's some cars that get, you know, have 150 miles, I mean, Sorry, 150 uh, horsepower, and you don't even get half the miles exactly. per gallon. The V8 used to have 300 horsepower. Now, now the V6 has got 300 horsepower. That's it's it's just an amazing uh, innovation. All right, so now we're going to go on to the see the new Ford Taurus, which has been completely redesigned. And here we are. It's possible to jump up top and uh, get us close. Here behind me, we have the new 2013 Ford SHO. Can you tell me a little bit about the new redesign look, well, the grill? This is and the new Taurus show, and what we've done in the Taurus, we've, we've brought a refreshing look to the Taurus this this year. The show, we're also showing a limited version, but the show version is probably the most exciting one. We've again differentiated it from the other models by introducing this piano black mesh grill, which gives a really aggressive look and aggressive stance. Black headlamps, great black 20, 20 inch wheels in the car, which are really aggressive. At the same time, still con continuing the signature of what people recognize in the Taurus in the, uh, over the past couple. Of years. Does it have the SHO uh, back uh, rear bumper? It ha it doesn't have the SHO in the <laughs> rear bumper, but it does have a unique rear bumper. For oh, that's channel, great. Yeah. <laughs> um, now compared, now is this the first um, SHO? Did they have it? Re uh, no, we, previously? we had the SHO previously. We reintroduced it in the 2010 model, but it, uh, when we reintroduced it, we did it real a, a real sleeper, and it wasn't really distinguished between the the other models. And the the customers really said we'd like a little bit more distinction or a bit more differentiation. So that's why we've done it, given it a, a unique face for the SHO specifically. And like always, Ford always wants to make their customers happy. Exactly. That's that's what we're here for. That's yeah. great, that's great. So is there any specifics with the interior compared yeah, on, to the on, previous on, SHOs? On, well, no, on, on the interior, on, on all the Taurus models, we've actually introduced a my Ford Touch. So we've redesigned the instrument panel so it can take the 8-inch the touch screen. And on this car, obviously, it's got this, the high-end Sony audio system right, so also. Guess, well, let's go take yep. a look at that. And you also get a show in Boston to see. Oh, very nice, right, very so. nice. So we've used basically the same architecture of the previous model, but we've integrated the new Sony, uh, Sony uh, audio system and the 8-inch My Ford Touch touchscreen. So Which is powered by Microsoft, correct? Correct. That the sync system is powered by Microsoft, yes. Yeah. So, so it, this really brings us al in, aligned with all our, all our recent, recent introductions. So this is the, the, the car that's got uh, the latest car with My Ford Touch. Now, compared to its, well, compared to its predecessors, the SHO, Newer for 2013, you said you read that it was completely redesigned. The, 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 now, the engine was really, really modified. The engine stayed more or less the same from the 2010 model, oh, okay. but we've improved the brakes, we've improved the handling, we've improved the steering, and now is electrical. E-Pass electrical power assisted steering uh, and you can also get a 
uh, a performance uh, pack as well, which has even got higher upgraded brakes and a, and a, and a different differential drive. So it's actually oh. so you can actually get a real real hot car out of it. Oh, so, you, so you can get um, basically a sleeper, or then you can get a souped up sleeper. Exactly. All right, now what we have behind me is the Boss 302. Can you tell us a little bit about the Boss and the redesign? You brought it back for 2012. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, well, as you say, this is the Boss 302. It's, it was something, again, the customers kept saying, when are you going to bring the Boss back? So, so we decided in 2012 to reintroduce it with an upgraded engine. And this is the, the standard Boss 302. You also have the, the Laguna Seca Boss 302, which is even even hotter in terms of its aerodynamics, its seats, everything. But this car has great, great overall looks, great brakes, great exhaust system, great engine also. And so basically, Ford is the is the brand that to start it all over again. They brought back the shell. Yeah. They brought back the Boss 302, they brought back the retroactive look. What can you say is um, for the future of Ford? Well, I think it's just saying, we're, we're just saying, we're listening to what the customers are saying, that people have got great, great memories of both the show and the Boss, so if there's anything else out there you might want to bring back, let us know. Yeah, no, definitely, because, you know what, well, history does repeat itself, and apparently if it did good in the past, the future can only, uh, the future can only go forward, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, we're really happy with this. The response has been great, also. Because as soon as it came out, I also heard from everybody. Yeah. The boss. Did you hear the boss came back? Yeah. And as soon as I heard that, I went online to check it out because I didn't believe it at first. Yeah. And the Laguna Seca version that you were speaking of, it actually has a deleted rear seat, correct? You have the delete. This one has the rear seat, but the Laguna Seca version, it's a seat delete. There's a rear seat delete, and it's got a strengthening member as well, so it's got a yeah, strengthening. That's definitely great. And so what I have right here behind me is we have this brand new 2012 Ford Focus Electric. Can you tell us a little bit about the electric model? Yeah, well, this is an all electric, the battery electric vehicle. So this is the Focus that we based on the, the normal Focus design, but we adapted the front to give it a little bit more of a unique, unique look to it, so people knows know that it, what what the vehicle is they're driving. Right now, um, per charge, how would you say the mileage would be if you if you have an estimate about? Because I know it's still not in full production it's yet. Still, we're not really giving our figures, but we we, we think it'll be competitive. We're pretty sure. We'll be competitive with other electric vehicles. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Right now, design wise, what? gave it inspiration to be completely different from the regular well, Ford I, I think people people are pretty proud to drive electric vehicles, so we wanted to give it a, a signature, this, at the same time still looking like a Focus, but a signature that people will say, well, that's, a, that's an electric vehicle. And if you notice on the side, there's also a visible charge port, which, which illuminates when you're charging the car. So again, that's another another sign or another, another sort of factor that will tell you this electric vehicle. Or it's moving forward like always. Well, yeah, and I think <laughs> this is a little bit of a contrast to the Mustangs, a little bit different pace, but it's, you know, again, this is what customers are looking for, so that's what we're No, looking. right. Yeah, touch on all aspects of yeah. all uh yeah, exactly the different customers are there some want 400 horsepower and someone electric cars so <laughs> so we have to give them everything the best of both worlds yeah, exactly With the other models well, the sync system and the instrumentation is the directly designed for the electric vehicle driver there's a lot more information a lot different information uh, the electric vehicle driver needs so it will tell you a lot about you know distance to charge uh, if you put your navigation system, if you put it, if you plug into your navigation where you want to go, it'll give you the best route to, to tell you to be most economical. It will tell you if you can make it that way or, or if you need to charge on the way or not. So, so it really is it's developed around the sort of uh, what we call the range anxiety of the customer in terms of electric vehicles, so they, they can be assured that the system knows where they're going and where you can get there. So you're telling me that not only does the sync system recognize the customer, it also recognizes the car itself. Oh, it's, it has to, yes, especially an electric vehicle, yes. So we're getting every everything from Ford nowadays. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and it's, a, it's a new field for us as well because, you know, we used to just do instrument panels, just used to be, we just stick a radio in there and that was it. And the, the whole audio HMI, the human interface system is, has really changed for us. And it's, a, it's an all new design challenge also. And that's, I guess, design, I mean, uh, challenges. It's challenges for the, the electrical people, the design people, for the packaging people, everything. But it's, it, but it's exactly it's, what the, the sparks customer create. expects. People knows the technology is moving forward very quickly and we need to move with it. And it sparks creativity at the same time. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Definitely nice, definitely nice. Just want to take a. And also being a sort of uh, ecologically aware car, all the uh, um, materials are recyclable and the, the fabrics are actually made out of regenerated materials also. Oh, very nice. And I also could tell that the instrument panel is basically sectioned for the driver. Yeah, it's what we call it's driver orientated without alienating the passenger, but again, we want people to, to feel that Fords are fun to drive, so we're designing our instrument panels to feel like the driver really feels like a driver's vehicle. So just to touch up on the design, I can tell it has the same similar the, the, uh, similar rear end of the, yeah. of the regular Focus. Very but similar silhouette. So unique wheels, unique badging obviously, and, and really the face of the car is where we wanted to give the identity of the electric vehicle. Now when would these be available to the market? This should be in the market uh, by the end of the year. Alright, so 
Olds competitors, be aware, Ford's coming at you.